Fam, it's me, Karen Frost at Nail Decadence, and I am back with another video. In this video, I'm showing you some amazing forms that I got off the wonderful Louise McGuinness at SBG London. And as you can see, these forms are double the length of the other forms that you've seen me use many a time. They are just as, as thick and they are just as strong, but they are twice as long. And I have never, ever used a form this long before in my life. So you are coming along with me on my experiment doing the longest nail I have ever, ever done. So, yeah, it's not the greatest nail in the world, but you know. I had a go and I will I will revisit it again at some point I will do another one but for now this is my first attempt I recorded it and yeah I thought I'd share it with you guys so as you can see I'm trying to make sure that it is straight that the form is straight I mean and I compared it to my nail file to make sure that it I'm following the line of the joint of the finger so that it's not wonky and just to make sure it stays on although things do stick to my hand dolly these forms stick to the hand dolly really nicely i thought i'd stick because of the how sh how long they are i thought i'd just stick the tab from a, another form over the back of those open tabs to just make sure it stays in place really well so this is going to take quite a bit of work on it and i don't want it to move so bit of extra insurance there so now that I've turned the hand around and I've looked at it from the other angle and I've made sure it's all straight I will apply a thin base layer of acrylic as usual like I normally do so I'm taking that first bead and I'm putting that by the cuticle area dragging that over the free edge and joining the free edge of the form to the nail bed area and I'm just going to continue adding clear beads of acrylic to build the nail out as far as the form will go because it's long and as you can see i'm having to zoom quite a fair bit out i can't zoom in because of the length of the nail um the camera has to be quite far away to get it all in on the camera so yeah it's it was certainly different working on this length of an hour I had to keep moving further and further back in my chair sort of pushing my chair back further and further the closer I got to the end of the nail very strange working on such a length I've never done one this long before I was really excited to do it too and um, I, yeah I'm really excited to try it again and do something else but so as you can see I'm <laughs> pushing myself further and further away from the desk and trying to get the camera to follow me because this nail is is it's that long i will adjust the camera after i've applied this thin clear base so that we're not um pushing the camera and following me so yeah i will sort that out in a moment but as you can see just carrying on with that thin clear base and i am using my spd london size 14 brush and I'm using the Nao Nails acrylic system, if I remember rightly. Medium speed uh, on the liquid and just the, you know, the clear acrylic, crystal clear from Nao. And so I'm giving it a bit of a pinch. I'm working my way down. So I want to pinch the whole thing. I'm not doing a stiletto. Well, it's kind of a stiletto, but it's more, oh, I don't know, not really a stiletto because I do come down and square it off a little bit. So I don't even know what kind of shape you call this. I mean, from the top, it looks like a stiletto. So, hey, we'll call it a stiletto, shall we? Anywho, so I've applied that thin clear base layer and now I've got some of this fabric i don't even know what this fabric is called mermaid fabric something i got it off of ebay it's uh, pretty cool stuff so i will add that on to the nail cut piece i've used some 
nail glue to attach it on hold it in place and hope that it sticks and it does eventually add a bit more of that nail glue hold down the sides a bit once I've capped it all then I'll trim it off but for now I'm just leaving the excess on there I'm just holding it in place until the glue sets so now I've got out some glitter and mylar and other bits and bobs so I've just added a tiny bead of clear acrylic and I'm adding some of the mylar to that clear acrylic to hold it in place and some of those glitter pieces I can't remember what glitter mix this is I'm really sorry I did this quite a while ago when I was testing these forms out but Louise has now brought the forms out so I can finally share this video so exciting they are amazing forms can't wait to see what everyone does with them so now that I have applied that glitter and mylar I'm applying the nail bed color which I think is soft beige I can't remember I'm really sorry so I'm just fading that over the glitter but not too far down just a little bit sort of ombreing it over the glitter a little bit so I want some of that now to be clear where the fabric is anywho so on the other end of where the fabric stops I will add some more of that glitter and mylar again using tiny beads of clear acrylic stick those on and now I'm using some of my navy blue and some purple acrylic mix that I've mixed myself and I'm going to do a little marble so I'm using the nail bed colour, the purple and the blue and I'm just doing a, a small marble there not the best marble in the world because I'm working on quite a small surface really it's long but it's very narrow as you can see so it's a little bit awkward to do a marble on it but I gave it a go not the best marble for sure and on the very tip I am using some more of that glitter mix and the mylar so I've zoomed in a little bit so you can see what I'm going to do now which is some 3D acrylic flowers so I'm double dipping the purple and the blue and I'm applying that in tiny beads and then patting those out into petal shapes I get the first one down and get another one so I've got two beads on the go there so I pat that second bead out and whilst I'm patting that the other one will be setting up and so I can then start patting that out and so add another bead and I'll just keep going until I build up all the all the petals that I would like this video was so long ago oh my goodness I totally forgot I had it to be honest and then Louise released the forms officially and I was like oh my gosh I've got a video of these forms I've, I've, I'll have to dig it out so yeah I thought I'd get this one uploaded I've got quite a few videos in the backlog waiting for editing and uploading which is a good thing because at the moment with my swollen hands and feet I can't actually do any more filming right now oh nightmare I have had some blood tests done and spoken to my GP and whatnot and I've got another phone consultation with the GP this week so we shall see what's going on with my swelling hands and feet they're so painful it's unreal I can't grip anything I keep dropping cups I've smashed about five cups now glasses and cups it's ridiculous I'm dropping spoons I can't I just can't grip anything so there's no way I can hold a brush or file you know hold a hold a hand file right now so fingers crossed my GP will find out what's the problem and uh, we can get it sorted so that I can get back to nailing because this is really scary not being able to use my hands properly and uh, having to have my feet up all the time so it's quite frustrating as such is life we will muddle on and we will get through and yeah fingers crossed 
we can get this sorted and I can get some more videos filmed but in the meantime like I said I do have quite a few in the backlog waiting so that's not a problem for me to take a month or two off I do have enough videos for that so I'm only putting out maybe one or two a week I'm going to try and aim for two a week I'm going to try and get some more uploaded so yeah Hopefully I can get two videos out a week for you guys, get a bit of a schedule going so that they're not so random. I was thinking maybe Mondays and Thursdays get some videos out on those days. But yeah, we'll take it as it goes. We'll see. I'll try. <laughs> That's all I can say. I'll try. But as I'm finishing those flowers, I will cap the entire nail now. I'm using the clear acrylic to just encapsulate all of the fabric, the, the 3D flowers, the mylar, the glitter, encase it all nice and safely into the nail so that I don't file it away. I did actually bring it too far down the form, so I did actually have to file quite a lot of the sides, which is uh, annoying, but yeah. Oh, it's all experience. I'll know for the next one when I give it a go not to bring it quite so far down the sides of the form. It wasn't, yeah, well, I've, I've left the filing in because I thought it would be quite interesting for you guys to see how I managed to uh, file this monstrosity into shape. <laughs> because it is a monstrosity, not going to lie. It looked a right mess after I'd finished capping it. It was so lumpy and bumpy. It was really bad. <laughs> Trying to do that and film with this extreme, extreme length was, um, yeah, very interesting to say the least wasn't the easiest of tasks but you know me I don't do easy when does Karen ever do easy uh, never <laughs> so I'm just pinching that form and wiggling it out from underneath that nail that now that it has set enough for me to be able to file it so I'm just trimming off some of the excess fabric and excess acrylic with some scissors just to make my life a little bit easier just having a look at the nail making sure that I've got no missing bits and yeah straight in with the e-file not going to mess about there's no point going in with the hand file straight away on these because yeah they needed a lot of work well they I say they it's only one nail but it felt like a million but yeah <laughs> this nail needed a lot of work so straight in with the e-file to even out the under under arch for sure get a nice straight line going you can see I did bring it way too far down the form, but it's all a learning curve. So I'll just whiz around that cuticle area while I'm at it. So once I've debulked the majority of it with this e-file bit, then I can switch to uh, something a bit gentler. I mean, this e-file bit isn't is is not a terribly harsh one. It's just um, it's a fine, so it's not yeah. It's not a harsh one. So now I will use my metal file board and try and straighten those at that under arch in that side wall. Make sure it's a nice straight line. Because that's, that's not easy to do with just an e-file. You do need the actual straight edge of a file to do that. And I'll switch to a different grit of file because that one that I was using with the metal board, that was, uh, I think it was a hunch grit. So now I've switched to a different file, which is a 100-180 on one side and yeah, 100 on the other. And we're going to file for our life on this. <laughs> so now that I've sorted the under arch, we'll do the side walls and then we will contour over the edge to over the top to meet the side walls. And if I need to file underneath, as you can see, I will. So I'm working on the nail as a whole. So I'm stopping and I'm looking and I'm making sure everything is blended in nicely and that it's a, it's a seamless sort of, as smooth as I can get it really. So keep stopping and looking and making sure that it's straight and it's blended in and that I've got a nice curve, no lumpy bumpies. I'm trying to see from the side there, making sure it's all looking good on the under arch. 
and that the side walls are nicely tapered in. You see the shape I did, it's not quite a stiletto, but it's not quite a square, I don't know what you call it. Mm. I have no idea what to call this shape, but it's what I fancied doing, so it's what I did. I mean, I could have done a stiletto, but I don't know. I ended up doing this shape instead. Probably do a stiletto next time. So I'm just whizzing over the top and I'm showing you from the side angle here. I'm going to get my file to show you that it's a nice slope down. So I've got that as, as good as I'm going to get it, I think. So just making sure around the nail bed area that it's, it's all blended in nicely and I've got a nice arch going on. And then we can dust off the top coat because it's a, uh, yeah, it's a long old nail, isn't it? It's crazy looking back. Oh, I forgot, I'm buffing. Buffing. So I've got my buffing block and buff it in, which helps blend it all in nicely as well. And you can see how I'm having to support that nail the whole time, you know. If I'm filing one side, I'm, I'm holding it on the other side all the way down. You have to give that support because you don't want to snap it. After all that work you put in, you don't want to snap that nail. So now it's time to top it off and keep it tough. So tempering top coat from SBD London, which is a gorgeous, long lasting, glossy top coat. Highly recommend it. But it takes half a bottle to top coat this nail. <laughs> okay, I'm exaggerating. It's not half a bottle, but it does take a lot of top coat to top coat this nail. I'm not going to lie. I think if you were doing a full set, you might actually use a whole bottle of top coat. Who knows? It's long. It's, ep it's epic. It's epically long. But this is more than extreme. This is double extreme. I don't know. I'm not even sure what I'm going to name the video yet because this is way way longer than anything I've ever done in my life so I'm just top coating a bit underneath where I've got the clear bit in the fabric just to make sure that that shows up nicely and that's it so this was a relatively quick video considering how long my other videos are but this is all I have for you guys so if you have not done so already please hit that subscribe button if you have enjoyed this video please click the like button and click the notification bell if you'd like to know when I upload another video so that is all I have for you this time peeps and so yeah take care now and I'll speak to you all again soon bye for now